What's good out there everyone, it's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a very good money glitch that you guys can be doing right now to make millions and millions of dollars. Uh, but first, I wanted to touch on something, uh, pretty much why I haven't been posting. Uh, yeah, so the past around three or four days, I haven't been posting anything. Uh, last thing I did was the frozen money glitch. I got that out of the way and I've just been really busy with stuff around the house. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to making, you know, a bunch of videos. There's a few glitches that I really want to touch on. Uh, that are out at the moment but yeah we're gonna be going over this money glitch as far as I know frozen money is still working on ps4 if you have that uh, but this glitch right now that we're gonna be doing in this video today actually does work on Xbox one and ps4 all right so everybody can pretty much take part in this I have seen some people say that PC uh, has confirmed it working on a few different people's accounts but I can't confirm that myself I do have GTA on PC, but for some reason, my launcher is all screwed up, so I gotta get some help from technical support over there. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna start getting into this glitch right here. So the founder of this one is NHJYYS, and I think there was a few other people that contributed in the comments section on Seven Sins. Uh, not sure exactly who they are, but shout out to everybody who contributed to this glitch. You're gonna need one friend, and you also need nightclub garages B2 and B3, all right? And this is the new way of doing this. So your friend needs to be in a different, you need your friend to be, to have a friend, sorry, to have a friend in a different targeting mode to join off of, okay? So I recommend that you start in an invite only session in free aim because most people are in assisted aim, all right? So this, I'll, I'll go into that here in a second, but we're gonna be duping the LG Retro Custom like always, and you do not need custom plates for this. So the reason why we are doing targeting mode now is because if you guys remember, this is the 10 car dupe. The previous methods are patched 100% now. I've tested it today, okay? Before I made this video, I tested all the methods out. This is the only one working. All right, character wheel, if you've restarted your PS4 or Xbox One, character wheel is not working. The character wheel method does not work whatsoever. Neither does the job method when your friend goes into Titan of a job. But this is the new method that works 100%, okay? so. Here we go. We're going to get started. This is the first part of the video. I'm going to go ahead and actually show you uh, what I was talking about here with setting up the garages. So remember, I said you need level B2 and B3 in the nightclub. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter B2 right here. Now in B2, what you're going to find is I'll have all the cars I actually want to do. So we call this the 10 car dupe because in this garage, you can fill this up all with LG Retro Customs, all the cars you want to dupe. All right, so fill it up to the brink. Uh, if you can with LG Retro Customs and you can be duping 10 cars at a time, all right? Uh, in my case, I have nine cars in here and one RH8, but it's all good. Everything in here is basically gonna be duping into the next garage, all right? So now I'm gonna make my way over to B3 and I'm gonna show you how I have that set up, all right? So if we're gonna be merging B2 into B3, then that means you probably want something to overwrite, you know, cars you don't really care about in B3. That's why we're using LG RH8s. Now, I know you see a bunch of deluxes here. That's from the frozen money. Although they will be merging over these, I'm not gonna save them over my deluxes. That's why I have these two RHAs right here. I'm actually gonna be saving those two vehicles right there once they actually merge and you know get working. So we're gonna get started right here with the glitch. So we're gonna go back to B2 and I'm gonna be with my friend. So you need to be in B2 with your friend. Okay, so here we are in a garage B2 right here. Now, what my friend's gonna do is go ahead and join a friend in a different targeting mode. So like I said, we are in free aim. So what my friend's doing right now is going to the friends list or the pause menu, you know, wherever you have your friends list and you wanna join a friend in a different targeting mode, just like this, okay? So this is the perspective of the friend. See, I'm gonna join my friend and I'm gonna get details in the bottom right, accept the first alert and sit on this second alert. This is the, this is the targeting mode alert that your friend needs to be sitting on. So once your friend is sitting on this second alert, you are free to do the glitch. So no character wheel, no job. That is how it's working, okay? You just need a friend in a different targeting mode. So right now my friend told me they are sitting on that second alert. I'm gonna run over to the exit and I'm gonna hit all exit warehouse. Now this part you need to do fairly quickly or it could mess up the glitch. Right when you're able to move, you need to turn around and run back into the garage. Okay, so you see that? Right away I'm turning around and I'm going back in the garage and I'm gonna head into B3 now. We were just in B2, so I'm gonna head into B3 now and this is where the merge happens. This is where all of my cars will be duped. So you see that? Everything in this garage was overwritten, all right? Everything in this, it's pretty much like exactly how we see it in garage B2, okay? 
So they're all overridden. They are technically, you know, dupes in a way. But we do need to save them. So here we go. Check out the plate. 61 BDS. Once I drive out, this plate will change and it'll grab the plate from the RH8. You see it now? 05. That is a completely different plate. All right. So this is what you need to do for each one of those dupes. You have two different ways of actually saving the cars. You can go to the MOC or you can go to your CEO garage. Now, for me, I kind of use a combination of both. Right now, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go over to the MOC. With the MOC, you need the personal vehicle storage to actually save the car. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm going to turn. I'm going to hit right D-pad, and doesn't matter if it's full or not, you should be able to drive in. If you can't drive in, that means that you do not have the personal vehicle storage in the MOC. You need to renovate it. You probably have the weapon and vehicle workshop, and only weaponized vehicles are allowed in there, not a dupe like this. So once you have the personal vehicle storage, do that, save the car in there, and you're good to go. This car is officially saved. Now, I'm just heading back over to my nightclub so that I can actually go ahead and save another car. So here's the problem. While you want to, you know, why I would recommend kind of having a combination of saving cars between the CEO garage and the MOC. The MOC, once we go into the garage right here, as you can see, I'm going to get out of the dupe and I'm going to go into B3 on foot. Remember, make sure you select B3 and not B2. You want to go into B3 every single time. That's where all the merged cars are. So once I get into here, the MOC despawns, okay? The MOC goes back to storage, which means you would have to call it out again, which would be a pain. So at this point, I'm going to dupe another car, and then this time I'm actually going to save it in the CEO garage in an empty spot. So check out the plate, 84MC. Once I drive out, that plate will change, okay? And there it is, 83XL. So now the second place you can sell it is the CEO garage, or sorry, the second place you can store it is you want to make sure you have a CEO garage with empty spots and the mod shop. And you would just drive it in there very quickly um, and, or drive it in there and then very quickly get back in the car. And once you're back in the car, that is when you go to the mod shop, you press the right D-pad and you modify something on the vehicle just to make sure that it sticks. Okay. But that is the glitch guys. Those are the two different methods to save the cars. This is what is working right now. And I highly recommend you take part in this glitch because it will make you a lot of money. All right. But uh, yeah, as far as that, you know, this glitch goes, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Shout out to the founders. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.